Hey everybody, hello, hello. Um, today we are talking about beating body odor and about body odor in general because we all have it. We're gonna talk about where it comes from, what um, are some causes, what are some ways that we can kind of mitigate it in a natural way and why it's important to do that naturally. Okay, because it really does matter. So I don't know how many of you guys were at convention, probably maybe three years ago or so. They redid the formulations for um, Young Living's deodorant, right? And this was the image that they showed on the great big giant screens when we were all outdoors at the stadium there in um, Salt Lake City, Utah, of how they tested um, some of the deodorants. And believe it or not, this is still one of the most common ways to test for body odor. Can you imagine being the guys, the, the ladies and gentlemen there who have their, either way, whether you're the one with the arm up and somebody's stiffing on you, you see their faces, they're all kind of laughing. Or if you're one of the ones that has to take this, you know, be serious about this and you're like sniffing somebody's pits, right? So, so, so funny to me, this cracked me up. So I had to bring this picture back out for you guys. So we're talking though about body odor. And the reason we're talking about it is because we all have pores. We all have, um, we all have an endocrine system. We all have things that make us stinky. And so we are always trying to find ways to undo that, to unfunk ourselves, right? So, and, and one of the things I know that um, people talk about like in Europe, sometimes they don't, um, they don't use the same methods that we do. And that actually is a really interesting thing. Do you know that in France, they still have professional perfumers who will, who will take essential oils like we have and mix them and blend them to give you your own personalized, individualized perfume right? And we can do that too. I don't know if you were our perfume lunchtime learning yesterday, but Abigail knocked it out of the park. She gave us a, an amazing perfume that we can make for ourselves with our essential oils. And there are several Royal Crown Diamonds that also teach that. Melissa Pepping is one of them. She has a whole book about it, right? If you're part of the um, Common Sense team, Stacey McDonald also has some that you can get that are just amazing, right? Okay. So let's talk first though about why we're stinky. All right. One of the first things is like, I have six boys in my house and two girls. And I would love to say the old thing where boys are stinkier than girls. They sweat more, especially as they're teenagers, whatever. <laughs> I don't know if you just heard my husband say, nah. And he is so right. Their shoes stink as females just as much as the boys do. And um, we have one boy, he's 16, who wears combat boots a lot especially like he goes out into the muddy woods to play airsoft and that sort of thing. And he sweats a ton. We sweat a lot through our feet, you guys, a lot through our feet, especially if you live in the warmer climates, like we're in Virginia. So even now we're in the, in the far Eastern um, side of Virginia, way over on the coast. And even now we are at a point where it's warm enough that we're not wearing jackets where everybody else was getting ice storms, including Texas, our area um, had a little bit of rain and it was a little chilly. It wasn't heavy coat weather even, right? But for those of you who are in heavy coat weather and who hit that point, those coats also make you sweat, okay? Now, sweat itself isn't such a big deal. What makes the body odor that goes with sweat is the little bits of bacteria, the little bugs, like we talk to our kids about bugs on their teeth, right? It's the bacteria that feeds on the sweat, right? And it gets into all the little folds and crevices that you have all over your skin. So let's talk about one other thing that, that also feeds into this, and that is your endocrine system. Now, if you are not aware of your endocrine system, I'm gonna tell you, it's a big deal. Your endocrine system is connected by um, all the lymph nodes, all the nodes that are through your body, right? We talk about swollen lymph nodes, right? That's supposed to be an indicator of whether or not we're sick, right? Okay, I did not know this until fairly recently, like within the last year, and I'm 40 some, right? That you actually have, and this will sound so stupid to not know, it makes so much sense when you hear it, but I didn't even think about it. You have lymph nodes like all through your body, literally, all the way down. They're not just right here where you check to see if you're swollen. They're under your armpits. They're in your groin. 
They connect all your different major organs because within your endocrine system are included all of your major organs. Okay, so we are going to share this little thing here about the endocrine system. Okay, so if you look at this little image, this graphic that I pulled up, and I pulled this up off the internet, you can find it anywhere. This is, this is your endocrine system. And all of those organs are connected by that system of lymph nodes and of nodes, right? You have your pancreas in there, your stomach, your thymus, your pituitary gland, your pineal gland, that's right here in your forehead, by the way, your hypothalamus, your thyroid, your parathyroid, right here in your neck, your thymus, right here in your chest, your liver, adrenal glands, your kidneys, your testes, if you're a male, right? So your uterus, if you're female, your ovaries, your placenta, your pancreas, all of those things are part of your endocrine system. And here's the thing. When you read on a bottle of shampoo, conditioner, whatever at the store, right? That, um, and you can see this one's like been around in my house for a while. It's all flattened out. Okay. So when you read though on there that it says, all kinds of fancy things, zero parabens, zero dyes, zero silicones. And you look on the back and it's nice and green and it's got big letters, zero, all these things. Okay. That is um, something that is really being talked about right now, right? It's something that our government has allowed in our products for a long, long time and still allows. But now that people are becoming wise to what their endocrine system is, they don't want those things anymore. Right now. And, and you also see it on plastics for like drinking cups and that sort of thing. And, and kids bottles, it says BPA free. That's, I'm going to pronounce it wrong. By bit. Okay. I'm not even going to try. Look it up. <laughs> so, but, and I'll put it in the, I'll print it out on the video, but um, why we are trying to get those out is because these are things that are called endocrine disruptors. Endocrine disruptors affect your hormones. Your whole endocrine system is a hormonal deal. And our hormones are very often out of whack. Okay. So when you're feeling really run down, you're feeling really tired, you're feeling really out of sorts. Let's say you're, you have um, really hard menstrual cycles, right? That PMS, right? Where you're, you're cranky at people for a week of the month or whatever. And let me tell you something, by the way, men have a hormonal cycle too. It's just not 30 days long. It's 24 hours long. So when you're in a house full of men, you get to experience some portion of that, like at least once a day. For my 16 year old, it's typically right in the evening. Okay. So these are things though, that every single person, male or female, we all have hormones and our hormones are affected by what we use. So when we talk about body odor, the reason that this matters, right? Because when you think about body odor, the first thing you think of is feet and armpits. And some people will think of your groin, right? Because a lot of people sweat there too. So um, for women, they're going to think of their breasts because they, they, they sweat underneath the breast a lot if they're bigger. So the reason though that we're talking about the endocrine system is because it's all connected and those hormones are connected and the hormones, of course, you've got your testosterone, you've got your estrogen. That's why teenagers stink more than older people is because they sweat more. And when you sweat more, you, you're, it's because you, um, your hormone, your, your hormones are, are balancing and they're doing more and, and, um, it has an effect, right? Okay. And by the way, if you're not sweating, you're not drinking enough water. You're dehydrated. Guess how many Americans are dehydrated? Lots of us, lots of us. And lots of us have our hormones completely out of whack. So here is why all of this matters. Okay. What we put on us, what we put into us goes into the last part of our endocrine system, which is your skin. Your skin is the last part of your endocrine system that is not listed. That's not really like pointed out on here. Here we go. Here's the other organs that are affected within your endocrine system. And you see skin on there, your adrenal glands, your kidneys, your stomachs, your liver, pancreas. Okay. So when we talk about what we put on our skin, do you know that what you put on your skin takes 26 seconds to get into your system, to get through your skin? Your skin is not a big um, uh, raincoat. So what you put on it, it's not enough to take your lotion and say, well, I'm just putting it on. So it really doesn't matter. 
it's going to get into your skin. All that stuff that's in your shampoos and in your deodorants and in your toothpaste and, and in your body wash and in your, your soaps, all of that is going to get into your skin. The things you breathe in when you plug stuff in, right? Aromatherapy is real people, but it also means it has an effect on your endocrine system. Okay. So the, that's why I wanted to start with that though, is because what we put on us matters. And when you have body odor, you're going to want to use things to mitigate that body odor or to help eliminate that body odor even. And it's going to matter what you use. Okay. So first things first, drink more water. The more water you drink, the easier that it's going to be to flush toxins out of your system, to flush out the stuff that you're breathing in. Let's say you have a clean house in, in terms of overall toxic load. Let's say you don't have plugins everywhere. Let's say that um, you're only using essential oils for your arth- aromatherapy or herbs or, or nothing at all. Maybe just open the windows, fresh air, right? If you ever have gone into a public bathroom at a mall, a gas station, grocery store, my favorite grocery store. I hate going into the restrooms in there because they use this air freshener stuff that spritzes like every, however often. And it's, I leave, I go in and you know, you're not in a bathroom very long, especially a public bathroom. You go in, you do your stuff, you wash your hands. And by the time I leave, I have a headache from breathing that stuff in. Okay. So let's say you live in a clean environment, even it still is going to be in you. So First thing for um, helping get rid of body odor and helping to mitigate that, we're going to go to the source, is to flush that stuff out. Drink more water. Take some Epsom salt baths. Not only is that going to boost your magnesium, which is really super good for you, but a different conversation. It's also going to help draw that toxic stuff back out of your body through your skin. Okay? It goes both ways which is why sometimes if things are going wrong inside your body and your body's trying to flush that stuff out and you're not drinking enough water, you might find rashes on your skin because your body is going to detox itself whichever way it can. It's going to use whatever method it has. And if your skin is what you give it because you're not drinking enough to go to the bathroom very often and you're not you know, doing those things, then you're going to um, find that you have rashes. You're going to find that you have problems, okay? Okay, so let's talk about some things that are helpful. All right. First, Young Living has some great deodorants. This one is um, Cinefresh. Um, we have several others. It has kind of like a beeswax base to it. The Young Living deodorants do. I'm going to open this one. Um, it looks a little different than what you find at the grocery store a little bit. We don't have the gel kind. Now this is not an antiperspirant. The reason we don't want an antiperspirant is it blocks those toxins from coming out when you sweat. You need to sweat, your body needs to sweat, okay? I know you don't like it, I know you hate it. So what we're gonna do instead of making ourselves not sweat, we're gonna make it so that the sweat doesn't stink, okay? Wear an undershirt if, if staining is an issue, totally get it. My boys all wear undershirts for that reason, especially when they're in church clothes. And right now it's just kind of the fashion thing, I think. Okay, so here's what I do. Um, Instead of just using the deodorant, I have oils and I have my own oils. Nobody else uses these ones. Um, I could make it into a blend, but honestly, I'm kind of lazy about it. That's the truth. I told you the other day, I don't do a lot of DIYs. So what I do is I take these and maybe I'll take two one day or maybe I'll take three straight on, just like this. And here's what happens when you do that. Not to be really, really personal, but and not to be gross, but we're talking about body odor after all, so here we are. What happens when you do that, and then you go out and about, and you're, you're running errands, and you're running around, and it's hot outside, and you start to sweat? You become a big diffuser, you guys. <laughs> like serious business, what happens is your sweat interacts with the oils that are now on your skin, and it makes those oils more fragrant. So what people smell on me is not sweat and body odor. They smell my oils, and they comment about it all the time. I'd much rather that they comment that I smell really nice and I smell like geranium and patchouli and um, and ylang ylang than that I smell like BO or it's something stinks, right? Because kids are always gonna tell you when you smell, serious business, kids will tell you when you smell, okay? So that's one of the huge benefits of doing it this way. 
And that's what, this is what I do. It doesn't stop me from sweating. So my endocrine system is still able to function the way that it's designed to function, but I smell like, you know, in this case, this is um, geranium and ylang ylang and patchouli. And so I smell kind of like, you know, fragrant, like a flower maybe. It's not very flowery though, because the patchouli kind of cuts that a little bit. Um, and for guys, maybe you don't want to smell like a flower if you're a guy. Totally get that. Definitely get that. So we have things like evergreen essence. Now this one's seasonal, but really guys, it's recycled Christmas trees, evergreen essences. So go and get your pine, go and get your cypress, go and get your um, black pepper, go and get, there's a lot of guy oils. And let me tell you from experience and from um, watching my husband um, research all of this, there's a lot of guy oils that boost your testosterone levels. So there's your bonus for the day. This is Northern Lights Black Spruce. That's another one that's very guy smell. Tsuga, T-S-U-G-A, is a conifer out of um, an evergreen tree out of Japan. That's another one. These are all very woodsy smells, you guys. Now, if you don't want any of those, Shutron is a nice mix that Young Living's already put together for you. Okay, so my point being though, whether whatever your thing is, there's a smell for you and you don't have to have all the gross um, parabens and phthalates and things that are going to interrupt your endocrine system in a really bad way. Now let's talk about other types of body odor a little bit because we're trying to keep this short. So um, I'm going a little bit fast. I know breath, bad breath. Who gets bad breath? Okay. Lots of us do. And there's lots of reasons for that. Your mouth is full of little folds and crevices and cracks and maybe your teeth aren't brushed or maybe you have a, a candida infection so you got like thrush or whatever. Maybe you got those little things where that you see the ads for like stones that get stuck in the back of your throat or whatever. Whatever your thing is, maybe you have gastrointestinal issues. In which case, if that's your deal and it's what's causing your bad breath and you know that, or if you can't get rid of it just by brushing or whatever, go get looked at because you probably have a gut health issue, a gut imbalance that you might need to have looked at. Okay. So that's a real thing. Okay. Um, outside of that and in a moment by moment basis, as the need arises, right? Take yourself a bottle of peppermint or spearmint or something like that. Now it's a little strong, so you might want to dilute it. My son keeps one of his own because he puts his tongue on it but it gives him great breath. And he's 21 and he wants to have fresh breath, right? Okay, peppermint or something like that. Thieves also works. Thieves toothpaste, thieves mouthwash, you guys. Let me tell you something, you use this at night before you go to bed and it does help to kind of reduce that morning breath thing, right? So if you have a partner that you sleep with, and you like to face each other while you're sleeping, you don't have one person or the other blowing bad breath in the person's face while you're sleeping, okay? Keep your teeth clean. Floss, brush, mouthwash, all right? This stuff is strong, just so you know, the mouthwash is really, really strong and it takes a little getting used to. Now, let's talk about showers again for a minute. When you're in the shower, in the shower. I love our bar soaps, you guys. I have three of them sitting here. Oh, we have one on my lap. <laughs> I have three of them here with me. I have two more in my shower. I have two more in the shower downstairs. The bar soaps are amazing. Learn to use a wash rag again. Okay. Move away from the body wash. The body wash is great, but what's made for your hair is not necessarily made for your skin. So it's really helpful to have separate products. I know you hate it. I know it means that you have extra bottles in your shower. Guys, treat your body the way that you should, okay? So we have lemon sandalwood, smells amazing. These all smell really, really, really good, by the way. And some of them are gonna be, again, happier for the guys. Sacred Mountain is a little bit more of a guy smell. Lemon sandalwood, sandalwood is one of our guy, our guy oils, right? It was in the perfume yesterday, by the way. Yeah, okay. This will set you for your whole day, man. You take a shower with us, with these, with these soaps, these bar soaps, this is the charcoal, it's black, it's really neat. Um, if you take a shower and you're using the Young Living bar soaps, and we actually also have, we also have bath and shower gel. This one's Dragon Time, because I do have two daughters, right? Here's our black charcoal soap, isn't that pretty? This one's not open yet. Um, I pulled all these out of our stash because we have like a whole stash in the closet. Because 10 people in a house, you don't want to run out. Seriously. I have like six things of these mouthwash in there. I have two things, two or three things of um, thieves toothpaste that aren't even opened yet. Um, 
always because I've run out before and I don't want to run out. Okay. So, but these are some great things to keep around in your bathroom to help mitigate before you even get out the door. All right. To help with, with body odors that are inside and outside. All right. And the last thing, and then also, again, we talked about making perfumes. You can do that. There's lots of DIY stuff out there. Look at my, Melissa Pepping has a book for it. Okay. Last thing, what do you do if you are out and about and you are around somebody else who maybe smells a little more fragrant in a not so great way? What do you do then? How do you, how do you affect somebody else without being rude and saying, hey, I got some deodorant for you. How about if I help you out? <laughs> you don't wanna be that person, right? Totally understand. So Young Living has provided us, I love these little things, by the way, you guys. They have provided us with aroma rings. Aroma rings are these little silicone um, rings, basically. And it's like a nose ring. It sticks like right here so that you can smell lavender or whatever. This one's lavender all day long instead. So get yourself an aroma ring, keep it in the little thing. And when you're not using it, you can put it back in the little thing or put it in a little baggie or whatever. So that when you happen to be around, let's say, in a van full of teenagers that are just coming back from playing airsoft and they have muddy shoes and they're taking all their gear off or maybe they've just come back from boy scout camp or can you see where my experience is here guys <laughs> that way you have a way to mitigate it also speaking of being in the van there are car diffusers and the last thing i'm going to say is that if you have body odor that is let's say lingering on clothing get yourself some purification and some these laundry soap. Put those together in your washing machine and use a hot water. I know we don't usually use hot water if it's not like whites or towels or something like that, if it's like regular clothes, but seriously, man, football uniforms need hot water, they need thieves, and they need laundry, they need purification. Purification, by the way, remember that boot I showed you earlier? Purification, a few drops in the boot, or on a cotton ball and put that in the boot is gonna help take that smell out. Purification will take the smell out of a teenager's stinky shoes. It will take the smell out of anything. It's amazing. I don't run out of purification. I don't have it right here with me, but seriously, um, I actually keep it in my kitchen because my kids like to cook their, um, their eggs on really high heat. So it makes the whole house smell like burned egg, which is terrible. I hate that smell. Um, so I put it in the diffusers and I run it through diffusers. And the next thing you know, my whole house smells great. It smells clean. Purification is a very clean smell. If you guys have never experienced that, it comes in the starter kit. So if you have received a starter kit as a gift, or maybe you've used it, um, you bought it yourself and you just haven't ever opened purification, open your purification. It's amazing. Okay, so hopefully this will um, give you just a few little tidbits, a few minutes of ideas on what you can use for body odor, what causes your body odor, because you don't want to be the person that somebody else needs an aroma ring for and it will help you to see some ways to make some changes if you need to, that will help you moving forward. Especially as we're all starting to leave our houses now and go back out into regular common society to be with one another. We all wanna smell a little bit nice going back to the office, right? Or the classroom or the grocery store or the list is long. We're all ready to be outside, you guys. So for now, this is everything. I'm glad you joined me today for our little talk about um, beating body odor. I'll see you guys next time. This video is one of a series of lunchtime learning sessions that we are doing within our group and within our team and that we are opening up to the wider Young Living world. And we welcome you. We welcome your, um, your friends. We welcome your members. We welcome your non-members. We are just glad to be sharing what we know, what we've learned as we learn it, and we hope that it benefits you in some way. All right, have a great afternoon, guys. That we're gonna share with you here. And of course, spam call right in the middle of a video, why not? <laughs>